finally getting his turn with the tune-up treatment, it's everybody's favorite and most feared weapon of mass destruction, whose primary MO is, if it, sh if it moves, shoot it. It is WEA-01, God Emperor, regraded, with a kit of Break, Hyper Missile, Laser, Multi-Legs, and the Leg Ability of Auto Charge which will passively fill his Metaforce Gauge every turn an action is completed, regardless of the action. Now, as everyone's favorite weapon of mass destruction, it has been pretty obvious that through the years ever since Metarot 2, God Emperor has been a model that has been sported and well-known and expected to be absurdly broken and overpowered in one form or another. While in older games, he absolutely was broken as all get out. In more modern games, he's been rounded out to the point that he's still in exceptionally powerful, but if in the right hands, can be just as catastrophic, if not more so, if enough time has passed and the right meta rotter knows how to use him. Break on the head part is a gravity attribute skill, meaning it will have a times 1.5 bonus to success as at, a, at a certain meta force threshold, but it's also known for its ability to heavy punish. So if you do plan to attack anyone using two or more heavy parts, they absolutely will be feeling the pain, whereas one or none, probably not at all. Plus, the bonus to success means that he is much more likely not just to land the hit upon using it, but also land a critical hit on top of that uh, and to add even more insult to injury. Hyper Missile on the right arm is a gunpowder-based skill that, compared to the standard missile type or, or napalm type attack, which are AoE or scattered attacks, Hyper Missile is instead a piercing attack, which means it'll be a whole lot easier for, for God Emperor to break parts quickly as long as he can use it very conventionally and very easily on the field. Plus, it really doesn't sport any drawback or anything notable on cooldown, so it's a skill that you can use very easily over and over, if not to prepare the foe, to just outright nuke him in the next week without any real uh, setup or buildup. Laser on the left arm is an optic attribute skill to round out his very diverse attribute type, uh, type of, of build that gets a times 1.5 damage bonus at a 30% metaforce charge and a times 2 damage bonus at 100% charge. So this will tie very easily into his ability of auto charge as the longer he's allowed to keep fighting on the field, the more easily he can fill into that and start using a damage bonus on that sooner than later instead of having to spend turns charging or even risk head HP with a full charge use in order to make use. Now, one other really big warning to God Emperor, though, and this is probably the easiest way to take down the weapon of mass destruction, as absurdly powerful as he is, and it's the fact that he's also triple heavy. So as much as he's able to dish out the pain with heavy punish and break, he also is just as easily susceptible to it for anyone that is used or planning to take him on. Gravity and heavy punish is most certainly the way to go. Now, when it comes to his tune-up bonuses, being completely honest, God Emperor is one of those models that really didn't need the tune-up treatment. He already was very well-rounded in terms of what he brought across the board. He may not be the fastest on the field, but he very easily can comp that with very impressive armor, damage reduction, and of course, power that he brings to the field. But in terms of the bonuses that he does have available to him now, he is packing a bonus opportunity of 200 to power, 100 each to heat and cool, a CG require, uh, re requirement reduction of 20%, and an additional head use. Being completely honest, I really could not figure out, of all those bonuses that he had opportunities to earn, which ones capitalized the most. Because you can build him for power, you can build him for heat and cool, you can add the head use, or go after the requir uh, reduction requirement for his charge for the um, success bonus, you could pick any one of those routes and not really go wrong because all of them are so useful in one form or another. So that being said, I'm going to leave that entirely to your discretion on how you choose to build God Emperor and how, and how you want him to play on the field. Do you want him to be more aggressive? Do you want him to be able to use the success bonus sooner? Do you want him to move faster? That's going to be completely up to you. Right from a power missile has access to plus 300 to armor, plus 100 to power, or an extra 50% to damage when piercing. Now, because Hyper Missile has been known to break parts very, very easily compared to most others, the damage bonus when piercing is honestly going to be the absolute go-to 
when it comes to the primary tune-up bonuses to go after. After that, the extra bonus to power will be nice to have, as it means that higher modif the higher base power will get a higher modifier, which means higher damage when breaking parts. If you instead choose to go after armor for extra survivability, you could do that as well, but the damage bonus when piercing is an absolute mandatory requirement if you do choose to use it. Left Arm of Laser has access to plus 300 to armor, plus 100 to power, much like it was with his right arm, but he also, much like his head, gets a 20% charge requirement reduction so that you can use the bonuses sooner. That means you get the times 1.5 bonus at 10% charge, and the times 2 bonus at 80% charge, which means that after turn 1 and auto charge kicks into effect, well, there you go, you can start using it at its higher damage without even needing to take time to charge or prepare it sooner. That being said, that requirement reduction and the power are both the, definitely going to be the uh, higher and uh, higher priority bonuses in this respect if you plan to use the laser. For the legs, he has access to plus 200 to armor, plus 100 to mobility, plus 300 to melee resist, and S rank on wilderness. Now, for the most part, a lot of legs tend to emphasize bonuses toward mobility or damage reduction, primarily just to kind of help round them out and make sure they stay on the field longer. God Emperor is most certainly no exception to this, and I believe that the mobility at plus 100 is going to be a very solid bonus in this respect, as it means, again, he's not the fastest on the field to begin with, but that extra bonus will absolutely make sure that he can capitalize on every bonus where he can, and that's not including any extra bonuses that choose to, to capitalize on, such as terrain or meta rotter bonus. After the mobility bonus, you could honestly go any direction with his with his tune-ups as well. You can go toward armor to keep him alive on the field longer. You can go the melee resist to keep his damage reduction up. Or if you decide for whatever reason you want to go S rank on wilderness, that's always good too if you decide it because an extra 10% won't make or break you. But on the right terrain and in the right scenario, it could be the make or break that determines if he goes first or if he dies first. All this being said though, comparing his original pure set and mixed parts score, I graded him very equally at an 8 across the board out of 10, because he was very well rounded, he synergized incredibly well with himself, and basically as a one man army and weapon of mass destruction, he really didn't require a lot of setup or build up to use right out of the box, and could be used in basically a number of different environments and scenarios, and not really have any major drop in his performance. That being said, comparing, uh, taking into an account his new tune-up bonuses that he has op that he has opportunity of, I'm gonna bump him up to a very solid nine out of ten across the board. Primarily because he already was absurdly good right from start. He really didn't need the tune-up treatment if I'm being real with you, because he was already so good and so powerful. But with those extra bonuses, such as the uh, pierce damage bonus on a uh, hyper missile the uh, reduction requirements for charge on break and laser, or even just the extra mobility on his legs alone will be what really keeps him in the game the longest and ensures that when as long as he remains on the field, he is going to indeed shoot down anything that moves.